Um, of course it has the sling mounts. If they're going to make a high quality weapon, why would they not put the sling mounts on there? Uh, and here's the really interesting feature of this weapon. It comes with five brass shell casings and one BB goes in these at a time. Now, as far as I know, there's another company that produces the K98, well, a few actually. Um, for instance, the one called D-Boys, I believe, produces the same rifle and they have a silver metal or nickel looking shell and as far as I've heard of them um, they dent very easily and they deform very easily and you have to replace them. These are brass. I have ejected these and played with this many times. These do not dent. They don't even scratch. These are very solid. Not only that but they have a rubberized ring where the primer would be otherwise. And again, this is a gas gun, not just a. Oh, this is not an electric gun or a spring gun. This is gas, and this rubber ring is the sealant, so it can propel the BB out of it. Now I'm just going to show you how to load this. First, I'm going to start putting the shells in one by one, and then I will use the stripper clip. So let's get a good view here. And then of course close the bolt, and you got one round. Now let's see if we can get some ejecting action. And that's it. Um, again, I have one comment to make, and that would be, seeing that this weapon is only gas operated, um, you would have the sense, hopefully, to know that it does eject. Yes, it's a very good thing. The shells come out. It adds to the realism factor, however. The piece that ejects the shells the with the spring they didn't make it as tough because obviously if this was the real rifle the shell would be ejected much further and not just seem as if it was falling down but that's not the case here but that doesn't bother me at all that's just another point of the gun now I'm gonna show you the stripper clip I'm gonna put the rifle down and show you how to put the rounds on the clip one by one there are two little lips under here you just take this, slide it in the lip, push it all the way down. Take another one, make sure you hold your thumb at the bottom or the rounds will come off. Slide another one on. Slide another one. And by the way, once they are all on, it's very tight. When you only have a few on, they're kind of loose, but when you get them all on, they're very tightly on there. And there you go. A full stripper clip ready to go. Now let me show you how to put this in. Of course you open the bolt. There's a little notch here. This rim goes right in there and you simply push it down with your thumb. So let me demonstrate that.
and for some reason one round came off of it but then when you're done with the strip clip you simply pull it out throw it away or keep it and then you have a another round to load in there let me quickly eject these and that's it um... as far as the cost I sort of think I mean it's very nice to have I'm a very big World War II fan I collect World War II items um... it's a very good rifle to have however for not shooting it at all I still think it was worth it but this rifle cost me between three three hundred and fifty dollars and um, not only that but I realized that uh, I can buy an original K98 for the price of this and then you figure that which one would you rather have the original or the airsoft probably both um, but it was well worth the cost because this is a very high quality gun now my next review I plan to buy the STG 44 or the MP 44 either names are um, correct and as soon as I get that I will make a review on it if I make a review before that one so be it but I will be making a review on that weapon so for now thank you for watching this is Hair Captain Steven from YouTube and please uh, post comments any questions or any comments you want to make feel free to and take care everybody